Hi there. Now here's another beast of a question which you might like to try and show. We've got to show that sine 43 degrees plus sine 17 degrees equals sine 77 degrees. So I'll give you a moment to pause the video if you'd like to uh, have a go at this. And when you come back, you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go at this one. So what I'm going to do is start with the right hand side. And when I was looking at this, I wanted to see how I could get 43 and 17 involved in the 77 degrees. Well, clearly 43 plus 17 degrees is 60 degrees. And doing the sine or cosine of 60 degrees is a well-known value. So we could give the exact value of that. But then I noticed that if I was to do 60 degrees plus 17 degrees, this would bring me up to 77 degrees. So that gave me a kind of hint to start off by saying that 77 degrees then was exactly the same as doing 60 degrees plus 17 degrees and then splitting that 60 degrees further as 43 degrees plus another 17 degrees. And then plus this other 17 degrees, that gives me two lots of 17 degrees. So already I felt that I'm on my way now to getting these angles involved. Now when it comes to expanding this, this is just like expanding the sine of A plus B. And just as a quick reminder, the sine of A plus B then is identical to the sine of A cos B plus cos A sine B. So A is the 43 degrees and B is two lots of the 17 degrees. So we'll just expand that then and if we do that, we've got the sine of 43 degrees multiplied by the cosine of two lots of 17 degrees. And then it's plus cosine of 43 degrees and then the sine of two lots of 17 degrees. Next I notice that I'm dealing with double angles here two lots of 17 degrees. So I started to think about working with the cosine of 2a. And in this one here, we've got the sine of 2a. So I want to work at expanding those particular parts here. So we've got, first of all, the sine of 43 degrees. But for the cosine of 2a, I picked on this version, the one with sines in. Cos 2a is identical to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. So in this part here, the a is the 17 degrees. So this is exactly the same as multiplying sine 43 then degrees with 1 minus 2 sine squared of 17 degrees. So that's that one. And then we've got plus cos 43 degrees and now this is the sine of 2a, a being the 17 degrees and the sine of 2a is identical to 2 sine a cos a. So I can express this as 2 sine of 17 degrees multiplied by the cosine of 17 degrees. So what I'll do now is just expand the brackets and tidy up this term. So if I do that, we've got the sine of 43 degrees, first of all, and then sine 43 degrees multiplied by minus 2 sine squared 17 is going to give me minus 2 sine 43 degrees sine squared 17 degrees. And then this term, well, we'll put the 2 at the front and we've got plus 2 cos 43 degrees sine 17 degrees and 
the cosine of 17 degrees. Now when I'm looking up here, I can see that I've got the sine of 43 degrees as one term, and I've got it there. So all of these two terms then has got to reduce down to sine of 17 degrees. So I'm going to just leave the sine 43 degrees there. And then I need to create one term out of these two terms. And I notice that I've got a 2 that is a common factor, and also the sine of 17 degrees is a common factor. So we'll start off with this term, the positive, just purely because this is a positive sign here. And we've got plus then 2 sine of 17 degrees. And if we pull that out the front of a square bracket here, inside then, if we take 2 sine 17 degrees out as a common factor, that leaves us with the cosine of 43 degrees and the cosine of 17 degrees. Now we'll go on to this term. We've already pulled out plus 2 sine 17 degrees, so that's just going to leave us with minus and then sine 43 degrees and one more sine 17 degrees. Okay, and we'll just square that bracket off. So what we've got then is the sine of 43 degrees and we've got plus 2 sine of 17 degrees. So this appears to be getting quite close to this now. And then when we look inside this bracket here, this is a familiar pattern structure. This is cos A, cos B, minus sine A, sine B. And you should be familiar with this as being the cosine of A plus B. So what we've got here then is the cosine of 43 degrees for A plus B being the 17 degrees. And we are now getting very close to the end because we've got the sine of 43 degrees here plus 2 sine of 17 degrees and this is the same as the cosine of 60 degrees. And the cosine of 60 degrees is a half so that when we multiply 2 sine 17 degrees We'll put that in brackets now. With the half from cos 60, 2 times a half is 1, and that takes us to our final answer, that it's equal to the sine of 43 degrees plus the sine of 17 degrees. So, quite an involved question using all of these identities up here. And... That's my solution anyway to this problem. If you come up with a better solution, do please let me know. But there you go.